Hey guys, I apologize for the audio quality on pretty much all my videos and specifically this video here because uh, I'm uh, at work most of the time and it's hard for me to uh, get a, a decent quiet place. So uh, bear with me, stay tuned because I'm going to be purchasing audio equipment um, here soon in the near future. So um, just uh, until, until that time, just bear with me and the crummy audio quality. Again, I apologize. Love you guys. Here's the message. Hey guys, so coattailing off my last video, uh, this video is going to be on procrastination. If you haven't watched my last video, I encourage you to do so. I'll put a link down in the uh, description below. But uh, procrastination and why it is detrimental to your spiritual progress. So what is procrastination? Procrastination is avoiding something that you don't want to do or avoiding something because it's difficult to do or it could be even something along the lines of avoiding a conversation um, procrastination is detrimental to you because anytime you procrastinate on an idea that pops into your head you are literally um, avoiding the direction of God you are avoiding the truth and that's why uh, procrastination is detrimental to spirituality because anytime you do that you're leaving a piece of that energy out in the open that was a part of you that needs to be fulfilled that w that uh, wants to be fulfilled and cannot be fulfilled until you act on it whenever you receive divine inspiration even if it's the most mundane things if you choose to ignore, which you do have free will, you're allowed to choose uh, not to do whatever it is you receive inspiration for. But uh, if you choose not to act on that inspiration, then that energy will be left in limbo. It will be untouched, but at the same time, it will be waiting for you. So. It's not something that, you know, it, if it needs to be done right away, yes, do it right away. But if it's something that requires time, effort, patience, and all that, start chipping away at it little by little because even just one small step towards that inspiration, um, whether it's, it's some kind of, it has to be some kind of action, whether it's a physical action or some kind of mental action, a step in the right direction. Once you step into the right direction, you are um, you are sending energy in that direction and that will compound over time because when you act on divine inspiration you are acting on God's will and when you act in God's will you are in alignment with his will so avoiding things will just exacerbate the situation and make things worse and even if it doesn't get worse, a, another problem down the road will um, confront you. So it's better to just act on divine inspiration pretty much as soon as you receive it because if you don't, it will um, accumulate. That, that energy will be a drain on you. It will literally drain your energy. Um, and, and if you meditate, you can actually feel your mental energy being drained by things that you're not doing. And you are divinely guided um, in everything you do. Like I said, even the most mundane things, you are divinely guided uh, to make the right decisions. And deep down inside, you know what the right decisions are. They are um, choosing light, choosing love, choosing abundance, choosing freedom. All of those, everything that falls in line with those kind of uh, those kind of um, ideas, they are divine ideas. Anything that uh, that tells you to fear is taking you in the other direction. It's taking you towards ego, which is fine. Everybody has to go through that. Um, but if you want to progress on the path of spirituality, you must act on divine inspiration, uh, regardless of your fears or reservations about it because you are divinely supported so anything that you do especially if you receive divine inspiration um, 
you will be supported in that um, project, whatever it is. So um, don't let the fear of failure stop you because the fear of failure is just going to keep you uh, preventing, it's going to prevent you from, you know, accessing your highest potential. And that's the whole purpose behind my channel is I want you guys to be able to access your highest potential. And the best way of doing that is through meditation. And uh, re uh, meditation will lead into divine inspiration. And then divine inspiration will lead you into action. So just to recap, um, if you receive any kind of divine inspiration or an idea and, and that's what I mean by divine inspiration. Anything can be divine inspiration. It's just an idea to, um, it's, it's an idea about something that you're passionate about. And uh, anytime you ever uh, receive an, an idea like that, just know that it's divine inspiration and it's a step on the path in the right direction. And uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I've got plenty more advice where this came from. I uh, love you guys very much. Have a great day.